Mark Levin. Hey, man. One of the great top FBI officials that I've known is former FBI Assistant Director Jim Kalstrom. Jim, how are you, my friend? Hey, how are you, my dear friend? You doing well? I'm doing well, but you must be looking at this, shaking your head, grinding your teeth, and saying, what the hell has happened over there at my beloved FBI? Am I wrong? Oh, you're not wrong at all, Mark. I've been pontificating uh, for almost two years now about, you know, Comey was uh, such a uh, a fraud from the get-go. I could see it happening right before my eyes. I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and he, here's a guy with a uh, ego uh, the size of, uh, or the length of the Jersey Turnpike, <laughs> and and zero common sense, and uh, z- really zero experience from the standpoint of investigations. His uh, crowning jewel was what Martha Stewart, and yeah, and how they screwed uh, Scooter Livy, yeah, and a few other cases like that, but. Here's a guy that uh, should never have been the FBI director. You know, himself and I don't know how many others, sycophants, seven or eight, you know, uh, who are all Clinton lovers, you know, and talked among themselves, as you well know, about, you know, about how bad Trump was. And, and here's Hillary Clinton. You know, I could spend an hour just just commenting, and you could do on on all the issues with her, all the felonies she committed. You know, the biggest felony she committed, in my view, one of the biggest, was meeting the uh, four caskets at uh, Andrews Air Force Base uh, when they came back from Benghazi. One of those caskets had a Navy SEAL in it, a uh, young, young Darty, who was the son of a fraternity brother of mine, very close friend. And uh, Hillary Clinton told those, those grieving parents that... Uh, don't worry, we're going to catch this guy that made the video and put him in jail, and he's the reason your your sons are dead. I mean, how low can you get, Mark? Mm-hmm. How now, low Jim, can you get? Not apparently pretty low. Now, Jim yeah. Kalstrom, former FBI assistant director, what do a lot of the FBI guys who you talk to, many of whom are retired now, what do they think about what's going on here? Uh, they they can't believe it. They're 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 uh, obviously upset. You know, myself. I mean, I put uh, almost 28 years in there, and uh, we had we had a fabulous time. You know, carrying out our our constitutional uh, jobs. We we took down the mafia. We protected lives. We solved kidnappings. We did all kinds of great things, and we were there. To, you know, to protect the American people and the American business community against thefts of uh, intellectual property, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, you know, never once in in my career did I ever hear anybody talking about politics or this guy or that guy. You know, there were never ne- never things were never done for political reasons that I could ever see. Not that it, not the agency was perfect. No, no, no agency is. But but uh, this is shocking that that they would actually remove those those cases on the on the Clinton Foundation and the the Hillary Clinton. Uh, uh, investigation itself as, as to the F- espionage statute and all those other statutes and bring that up on the seventh floor and basically cut out the field offices so they really had they couldn't see what was happening you know they held it close this fraud of investigation you know which was just asinine from violated every precept every concept every rule and regulation uh the fbi uh carries out throughout 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 my career. Now, now, what do you make, Jim, of, you got Comey leaking, the former FBI director, you got the, now yeah. the former deputy FBI director, he's a leaker, you've got... And now they're that, fighting among themselves. And now they're fighting, yeah. well, you know, it's a den right. of thieves. And uh, <laughs> then you have uh, Stroke, who apparently, apparently was a leaker, and his girlfriend apparently involved yeah. in that. I mean, this is serious, serious stuff. I don't know how you get to the bottom of this without a special counsel. Do you? No, I, I think we have to have a, a special counsel, and and someone has to. I don't see anybody competent to instruct a special counsel that's there now, unless you're willing to go back and be. A, oh me? No, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but uh, you're you're right. I mean, it's just. Uh, I believe it's a, a total, total conspiracy, a total cabal, total fifth column. You know that for 
when it looked like Trump was going to going to be nominated, they uh, you know the, 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 that conspiracy was made up of John Brennan, made up of Comey and uh, Clapper and others, people of the National Security Council, you know, and um, so they had phase one, you know, to try to stop him from getting elected, and then of course phase two was to ruin his uh, presidency, which is ongoing today. You know, the fraud is still being committed today. And, you know, it's just unbelievable to me that, that Donald Trump, you know, tied his hands behind his back when, you know, he put Sessions in there as the Attorney General, someone someone I knew and liked, and I know you knew and liked, but it's just been totally ineffective and totally out to lunch. And uh, Rosenstein, I mean, is just uh, bad news, I think. Awful. James, James Kalstrom, Jimmy. I want to thank you. God bless you. If I ever get to New York, we're going to get together, okay? You're the best, Mark Levin. Keep it up. You're a great patriot. Love you too, brother. Jim Kalstrom. Great, great guy. Retired FBI assistant director. Calls him as he sees him. And happens to call him right. I'll be right back. <laughs> 